Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. In last lecture, we discussed the introduction to cell junctions and types of cell junctions. This video explains the detail of anchoring junctions. We have two cells here, and the cells are surrounded by extracellular matrix. Both of these cells possess two different types of anchoring junctions. These anchoring junctions allow the cell to interact in two ways. First is direct contact. It can attach one cell to the other cell. So this is cell-cell adhesion. Second we have is indirect contact. These junctions also connect the cells to the extracellular environment. And it's called cell matrix adhesion. Both these types of anchoring junctions are named and classified differently. And they would be discussed very shortly. Let's get into the structures of these anchoring junctions. All types of junctions including the anchoring junctions are organized into three parts. First is the adhesive proteins. They are found here, that is, in the exoplasmic portion of the junction. So, if we zoom this head part of the junction, we find it's formed of numerous clusters of proteins, which we call adhesive proteins. So, if these proteins are interacting with adhesive proteins present on another cell, then we call them as cell adhesion molecules or CAMs. Similarly, if they are found connecting the cell to its extracellular matrix, then they are referred as adhesin receptors. Now come to the second part of the anchoring junctions called adapter proteins or anchor proteins. These proteins link the cytoskeletal filaments to the adhesive proteins. Then we have the third portion of these junctions, the cytoskeleton filaments themselves. First, the cytoskeleton filaments are attached to the adapter proteins. The adapter proteins, as we know, are already connected to the adhesive proteins. So it's said cytoskeletal proteins are indirectly linked to the adhesive proteins through adapter or anchor proteins. Now, the cytoskeleton proteins can be either actin filaments or can be intermediate filaments. Now let's talk about different types of anchoring junctions and proteins involved in their functioning. So, we noticed two types of anchoring junctions. One is cell to cell junction and the other one is cell matrix junction. Under the cell to cell junction, we have further two different junctions, adherence and desmosomes. The anchoring junctions which bind to the extracellular matrix are called hemidesmosomes. We also saw three types of proteins are found in anchoring junction. These are adhesive proteins, adapter proteins and cytoskeletal proteins. Now let's know which protein is associated with a specific anchoring junction. In case of the adherence, the cell adhesin molecules are the cadherin. And these are the intracellular anchor proteins you are going to find attached to adherence. Then these junctions use actin filaments as cytoskeletal proteins. Now moving to the desmosomes. They use the same adhesin proteins like adherence. So what makes them different is that the cytoskeletal proteins are intermediate filaments. Other than this, they also employ different anchor proteins. Now, the hemidesmosomes have integrins as transmembrane linker proteins, or we simply say adhesive proteins. And this one is the adapter protein you would notice in this category. Finally, they are connected to intermediate filaments. This was all. Thanks for watching.